and welcome. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. With this tutorial, we're going to be studying a little bit about the snack bar and how it works. First thing I need to do is create a new tutorial. Uh, I called mine Snack Bar Example. Just come in here, go next, and then actually choose the blank activity. Also, I want to show you how to use how I use the blank activity because there are several painful things about this um, in Android Studio that are annoying to me. But I'll show you how to do that, and then you do next, and just finish. And it should bring you to something that looks a little bit like this. I've already been playing around with it a little bit. And this is what the ordinary snack bar does. And when you click here, it pops up out of the bottom. And we're going to use the uh, default little envelope here. Click here, and look here, another food-themed item. Yeah, so that's what that, that right here, this is the snack bar. And what I'm going to show you how to do is how to modify that as well as how to add a action to it. Now one of the things that I want to show you is that when you create using this template, it creates a content menu and an activity main uh, XML. Now the activity main XML looks pretty interesting. It looks like normal. But when you try to drop anything on it, you can't. And then when you go to content, and you try to you can't do that either you can drop things on it but then you can't see it how do I get things arranged on this way and I'm sure there's a very sophisticated wonderful way to do this and I have no idea how that it, what that is so what I do is I create something I just create another XML file that I'm never actually going to use I give it the relative layout because my content here is a relative layout and then whatever I want to add to my content main, I just come in here in a design view and like I'm going to add a button right here in the middle. I add the button, I change it to change color. I'm going to call it button, just leave it button. And then when I go into text, there's what I want. There's the button. So what I do is I just copy this go back into my content, find a space for it, and paste there. And then when I go look at it in the activity main XML, there's your button properly spaced and everything. So that's how I do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this button up to change the background color of the app to red. And then when you come back in here and click this, it will click up, it'll say give you a message and then give you the opportunity to change the background color back to default. All right, so what I've done is I've created the on click listener button button. Now I had to create the relative layout out here uh, because I use it in more than one place. So it's just easier to put it out there. I added the button uh, and then I added the rel layout and here is the on click listener and this changes the rel layout relative layout to red when you click the button now we'll go down here our floating action button that little uh, pink uh, colored uh, floating envelope button this is the new snack bar and it has an action attached to it. View on click listener. So snack bar equals snack bar. Return to white background is the message that it that it states, and it does it for a long time. I can change this length to short if I want. We want it to, but I'm going to leave it long. And then we set action, return, and then this is creates the new uh, view on click listener, and this is the on click listener that it's talking about. Now, relative layout set background color to white you can change it to any color if you want uh, doesn't really make any difference snack bar snack bar one equals snack bar make view color is restored snack bar length short and then snack bar one show so what it does is it starts out with a white background you click the button it turns to red and then you click the little envelope and it'll pop up a little message do you want to read turn to white background and then you click the return it returns the white background so let's run it and this is what you get of course the hello world is pretty 
annoying, but it's there anyway because I didn't remove it. All right, so you click your middle button to change color. Changes the background color of your content main to red. Now, if you want to change it back to white, you can go down here, push your little envelope, return to white background, and you push return, and that will trigger the return to the white background. And there you go. That's a little insight in how the snack bar, wor snack bar works and how to manipulate it and use it to your own ends. So I hope you've learned something. This is Ageless John teaching under Android Studio Tutorial. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe, and I'll see you around.